Well, everyone, it's me. It's, it's occasionally Scott on YouTube. See? Woo! YouTube! I'm occasionally downstairs having a few drinks with my friends. And I thought, hey! Uh. Shot time! And the award goes out to Scott for the best he can't act worth a crap scene while drinking a smoothie on YouTube. <laughs> Seriously, hello everyone, it's me, Scott. You know that guy that you occasionally stumble across here on YouTube? I promise you it's a smoothie. I'm really starting to get into this, uh, okay, I haven't had a soda, pop, you know, Coke, Pepsi, whatever your you know, poison is when it comes to soda, pop, everybody says it differently. I try to balance it out. But I haven't had one in over two weeks. And I was kind of breaking it down. And now I'm like trying to find these, you know, try to baby step it and doing these fruit drinks. And now I'm getting these fruit drinks, especially these smoothies. And I found one that has like no sugar in it. And um, yeah, they're a little pricey, but man, they are tasty. And I guarantee you, I promise you, there is no rum or anything like it, but it couldn't hurt either. But uh, <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's, I forget the name of it. That's in the refrigerator, so I don't know. But it was on sale, and I figured I'll give it a shot because I was doing another one, and I think I like this one even better. But anyways, what I'm standing back here, and it has nothing to do with that teaser, the last video that I did, because ironically, during the time that I uploaded that video, I actually won a uh, prize from Nick Malpagano. Well, it was a, um, it was an auction. He had, well, if you, you notice occasionally, Nick and others will have like, you know, auctions, you know, Basically, place a bid, you'll start off, blah, blah, blah. You know how auctions work. And uh, I won. So <laughs> I, I really didn't think I'd win, but you know, I guess a lot of people feel that way. And I started doing the unboxing and then I got involved with something else, but you know, it doesn't really matter. Um, you guys are very familiar with this the uh, hollow wine that Nick obviously creates. He makes the wine bottles, drills a hole, and puts the wire in it. And I've, I've had it obviously displayed here at my bar for the longest time. Well, last weekend, he had one, uh, another auction, as I was stating, an auction, and I won this guy right here. Another hollow wine bottle. It is definitely my favorite year. I mean, you gotta be very picky about the wines now. So. <laughs> it's obviously another bottle of hollow wine. There is no rum in it, I promise. Um, it's very similar to this. So if you guys, if, I know from afar it's hard to see, but hopefully this camera right here uh, you guys will be able to see what it looks like. So let's do a countdown in five. Never mind. Turn it on. That. Oh, see, if anything, I'm seeing it for the first time, and this is a little different than that one. Well, that's great because uh, it's obviously more clear bottle. That is so cool, Nick. <laughs> I mean, it's such a simple concept, but yet brilliant. I mean, Nick actually, it it amazes the the hell out of me of his. Uh, his innovation, you know, he's a very creative, extremely creative, and I don't think he gets enough credit for that. So, Nick, thank you so much. I'm glad that I participated in this contest because now I can add another piece to either here at the bar, which would seem suitable, of course, or I can put it in my other room of collectibles. I don't know. I love this problem. I've said that before, and I've, well, I'll, I've stated it again. I've saved it again. Yeah, sounds about right. But guys, uh, if you have been curious about these, you know yourself, and I'll tr I'm hoping that, that this is in focus, um, you could contact Nick Malpagano very easily uh, through Messenger on Facebook, or you can go to his website at handyboy.com. Um, let's face it, if you're gonna buy a bottle of wine, the average price is around 20 to 30 bucks anyways. You might as well get one that's going to last your lifetime. And if now this came, you know, now this this one I think if I remember did come with batteries, but it from the experience on this one and this one right here, it's just double A's. You know, this is a mechanism that he uses. It's a simple on and off switch. Now I'm sure some of them have different uh, features, but it all depends on you know the mechanism that Nick is using to uh, you know like in this case, this guy right here, and I don't know if he has switches like this still but as you can tell it this one has different options it just stays off of course 
continuously stays on, flash, and this one kind of fades. So this might bring up a very good point. If you are interested in one of these and you're more into this concept here, let Nick know. Or if Nick still creates the Halloween, Halloween bottles with switches like that, let him know. I don't know. I just never really thought about that until this very moment. So I'm going to shut up, guys. I have got to, uh, well, I promised myself I would get an oil change and I really can't do that here. So on my car, not me. And uh, <laughs> yeah, once again, Nick, thank you so much. I truly appreciate this. And uh, maybe the next time when I upload a video, it will be about that teaser. And I figure, you know what? Maybe, you know what? I'll give you a little hint. I told you Nick Malp again was responsible for this one. And the next video, ah, I can at least tell you he was responsible for making this particular thing come to life. And that would be, and I'm gonna thank you right now if you're watching. Thank you very much.